So this is an article from October, but I just wanted, again, if you connect all these dots, right? This is an article where Fauci says that the coronavirus vaccines won't actually stop you from getting COVID-19, but that's okay. The actual headline goes, Dr. Fauci says early coronavirus vaccines won't stop COVID-19 infections, but that's okay. <laughs> and if you scroll down and read the article, he's basically saying that um, we cannot expect the vaccines to uh, prevent COVID infections, but that they will uh, limit the severity of the symptoms. And this became relevant for me recently because I have a family member who got one of the early vaccines. She was in the early trials uh, and she just got diagnosed with COVID. <laughs> I, I, I'm not laughing that she got COVID. I'm laughing that the vaccines are not effective at preventing it. Uh, her symptoms are mild. And mm -hmm. so maybe it is working in that way that it says it will keep your symptoms mild. But um, I don't know if people commonly are aware of this, that it's not going to keep you from getting it, that they're telling you it's not going to keep you from getting it. And then there's another article from Fauci recently where he was saying, um, this one is more recent, where he says that we don't know how long the vaccines will work. And he says, hopefully they'll work, hopefully they'll work for a year, but then we, you might well, have to get back. You know, cause they'll be, they'll be mutations like anything else. Yeah. Right? And he even says that he's preparing us for that. And then you combine that, you combine, and he says in that article that, um, we're not going back to life as normal. Like we're not going to return to life as normal. That's a choice. Yeah. yeah. And, um, and then there's another one. This is just the interesting stuff with the Fauci stuff. Here's, here's, let me read this quote. Um, <clears throat> The pandemic is here to stay, according to creatures of the establishment. That's that's from a, the article about him saying that that we don't know how long the vaccines will last. And he was basically yeah. saying, sort of like preparing us for this perpetual, um, hysterical pandemic world where we're constantly uh, being triggered by and being uh, gaslighted by the media and and being told there's a new reason, there's a new reason why you need to stay home, or there's a new reason why you need to shut down your business, or there's a new reason why you need to get a new vaccine. There's a new, you know, threat. And they've also simultaneously been saying, I know you've seen this, Carter. They've been saying now that um, these measures that we we've, we've taken with COVID, that we've allowed the government to take towards us, these measures we've allowed, these authoritarian measures, they're starting to say. We might need to use these in the future for other types of, of public health crises. Of course. And for other public health crises that we don't even know what they might be yet. Well, then simultaneously, you see articles coming out where they're preparing us for thinking of climate change as a public health crisis. And they're preparing well, us hey, to if think. Racism is a public health crisis. Yeah. So is climate change. Yeah. Right? They've said racism is a public health crisis. So. I think anybody who thinks that this is going to be over, one of those articles with Fauci talking about this stuff, he said, uh, we shouldn't expect to return to normal until uh, 20, the fall of 2021. I think, I think you're naive. This is like when they told us two weeks to flatten the curve. If you think that after the fall of 2021, they're going to stop doing this, they're going to just, what, give up this new kind of, this new way of controlling us that they've honed and that they've, proven works. I mean, we did comply. Are they just going to stop using that when they want to use it? No. <laughs> Obviously <laughs> like, not. No. I mean, this is, uh, we've said this a million times. We've said it since the very beginning. It's not about the virus. It's not about any particular health threat. It's about controlling you. It's about restructuring society. If you want to think of these people as just little uh, <laughs> busy bodies, authoritarian with with like authoritarian fetishes who are finally getting off fetishes. on being able to tell people what to do that's what it is that's what this is these are your leaders quote your leaders and the bureaucracy that you've put in charge through your voting for the past several decades these people view you as farm animals <laughs> they know you're sheep they view you as farm animals. Yeah. They're running a tax farm. They don't like all this freedom and kind of messiness. They don't like that things aren't planned and they can't predict things and they don't have control over stuff. And so 
they want to structure things whereby they tell you what to do about everything all the time. That's what they want. They want to control you. That's how authoritarians work. And they're looking at China and they're drooling with envy over the social credit system in China. And so <laughs> they're like, how do we get that here? <sighs> That's what I want. Can we get rid of the First Amendment and Second Amendment? Hey, Facebook, Twitter, can you help us out? Hey, can you ban some people, Susan? Ban some people from YouTube. They. This is, all this is, <laughs> is they're exploiting something that has happened they're in exploiting order it. to further an agenda that they've always wanted, an agenda that they've always hoped for. And now that they can get away with it, I guess the sheep have become compliant enough and they can get away with it. And I don't see an end to this ever at all for anything. They've There'll always no wanted it. This. They're using it. There's for always some disease. There's always some risk. Yeah. Go to the World Economic Forum's Great Reset. They have a page. They have a website for the Great Reset. They'll tell you everything mm -hmm. they want to do. They'll tell you. They tell you right out in the open. Did you see, speaking of social credit score, did you see the IMF? The IMF said that they mm -hmm. want to start um, uh, being able to use people's search engine histories to, de to determine as part of the calculation of their credit score. Yeah. Well, that's what a social credit <laughs> score is. China, I mean... China has done other authoritarians, and I put basically every government in this category. Other authoritarians are seriously looking at China as a a template. China's built a template. They've built a model. Um, and absolutely, they'll look at your browser history. They'll look at you where you've been. They'll track you on your phone. They'll pay attention to what sites you visited, who you've talked to, what you've said. They'll search for your keywords. We already know the NSA listens to everything and stores it all in a data facility in Utah. Snowden blew the lid on this, and no one seemed to care. It was in the newspaper for a few weeks, and then, eh. Yeah. Have you remembered it? No. Have you? Has anything <laughs> happened? No. No. Nothing's changed. <laughs> Nothing's changed at no. all. It's still happening. Nothing's no. changed. Because the sheep. Go, go eat your grass, sheep. Go sheep, um, get your Netflix sheep. That's what they're yeah. like. As long as you got your Netflix, Netflix sheep. Hey, now there's Disney Plus. How about that? Right? Yeah. I mean, that's that's how it works. All right. Hey, and sheep. So, hey, sheep, we're going to legalize pot for you, sheep. <laughs> Not that it shouldn't be legalized. Yeah, actually, I'm just saying. Another, yeah, totally. It should, but, yeah. but, you know, people, as long as people have their bread and circuses, they're like, oh, oh I'm going to go back to sleep now. <laughs> That's right. Someone says, eat your soy. Yeah, worse than that, it's eat your bugs. Hey, we now, mealworms are better than beef, aren't they? Mmm, mealworms. Why don't you do, soon it'll be soylent green, right? That'll be the, soylent that'll green. Be the food that they'll be pushing. The, the uh, What was it? We were talking about this with Comics Division, but one of the one of the propaganda posters on the World Economic Forum's Great Reset page is a picture of a guy who's smiling, and it's like, in the future, you'll own nothing. You'll have nothing, and you'll be happy. <laughs> <laughs> they that, should the have last just... part sounds like an order. And you'll yeah. be happy. <laughs> you'll, they should have put, and you'll be eating bugs. Like and you're going to love yeah. it. And don't worry, we've already prepared you. We've already done it. The cathedral's put out a lot of articles about eating bugs the past year. <laughs> 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 you're going to be happy. We'll get some celebrities to, to sing songs about how great bug eating is. <laughs>